My parents are both uh, teachers, retired teachers now, and as a kid I would go out to Colorado in the summertime with them uh, for two months and we'd just spend time with our pop-up or with tents just camping in Colorado and, and hiking and uh, not just Colorado but Montana and Idaho and Wyoming and I loved that as a kid. In fact, I was telling somebody uh, at Peak Challenge this year about the fact that when I was six I left camp and went and hiked up Flat Top Mountain by myself and came back before my parents knew that I was gone. So I just had kind of a, that in my blood that I just loved to hike and that love of hiking that I, that I got from my, my parents and the, the biblical manhood that my dad spoke into me while we hiked, um, I just wanted to share that with other people. And so in uh, nine years ago, we were sitting around and we, in, in Omaha, Nebraska with a band of brothers group and I simply asked the question, who wants to go hiking with me next summer in Colorado? And most guys looked at me with deer in the headlights eyes and, and said, you can do that. And I said, absolutely, you can do that and we're going to do it. So we started that uh, first year with about uh, 17 guys from King Kings and it's just grown from there. Our first year we just found a campground by Lake Dillon and uh, climbed Quandary. We didn't really know what we were doing. A lot of us got sick because we didn't understand all that stuff yet in terms of altitude and diet and fitness and everything. But came back the next year with about double the number of men. And that was kind of the trend. Every year we doubled it. And uh, last year, 215. So the joy of Peak Challenge, uh, for me, I thought would come to an end when uh, God called me away <laughs> to Kansas City. and. Uh, I turned the mantle of leadership of all a band of brothers over to Dave Rettle. And, uh, and uh, the Peak Challenge had always been Dave's thing, and I, I didn't want to take away from any of that. So I said, Dave, it's yours. All this is yours. And Dave just continued to raise up all these leaders. And then Dave said, we got to do chapters. And we just started branching out. We said, okay, Kansas City needs to be the first chapter. And so we got our guys to go. And I think. Like last year, we had over 30 guys from the Kansas City uh, tribe, and it's just been a joy because you know we're nine for nine now in the last nine years, and uh, we just continue to grow. And I think we're into like 17 different states now as a result of that. So as as after the first year, as we came back to Omaha, we began to realize that it was more than just a camping trip. Um, there was nothing formal that we did out there that first year, but after that, we began to really sit down and, and pray um, long and hard about what is. God have for us out here in Peak Challenge and what does that look like? We, we want to have a lot of opportunity for the Holy Spirit to, to work out here in guys' lives. And we've seen that happen over the last nine years. Um, every year in the last five years we've had guys from 18 states represented and more than 70 churches represented every year. And that's not anything that I've done or that Banner Brothers has done, that's all about God. Uh, we've, we begin to have people that uh, came from the Methodist faith. And, Presbyterians and Catholics and non-denominational uh, churches and we get to see the body of Christ at work um, and it's amazing to watch the camaraderie and fellowship of, of men of God uh, regardless of their denomination all going going all in and going all out for Jesus.